Undercover Billionaire, Secret Lesson Number Two. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. Today, I'm going to continue the series that we're doing on Undercover Billionaire. If you haven't seen it, it's on the Discovery Channel. It's a series really worth watching. Uh, so far, they've just put out one season. This was from last year. It's called Undercover Billionaire, all about the exploits of uh, the uh, very wealthy businessman, uh, Glenn Stearns, as he goes undercover to start from scratch and build himself back up again. I'm going to talk about some of the lessons that I got out of the show that I think are, are relatively obvious, but they need to be talked about more than even what the show said. And I'm going to talk about a second lesson to learn. You go back and watch the first lesson and find out a little more about the show over there, or you can look it up yourself. So the second lesson I would say has to do with the power of human capital. The absolute necessity, the one thing they had to take away from him before putting him in a fresh situation and having him start from scratch is they had to take away all of his contacts. In other words, they gave him a cell phone with none of the connections that he had and he was not allowed to reach out to any of the connections that he had. He wasn't able to lean on family. He wasn't able to uh, lean on any of the people that he had connected with. And anybody that has had any form of success in their life, that's really true success. That's really, you know, been that been something something big for yourself where, where you've, you feel like you've actually made something great. You know the importance that the people around you have had on that. And if you haven't, your success will be short-lived. It won't last long. If you understand the importance of human capital, the importance of your contacts, the importance of your relationships. We talked a little bit about relationship and what builds that yesterday when we're discussing trust. But today I wanna to discuss the actual idea of having the relationships to begin with and how important that is. Anybody that builds themselves up out of nothing there's no, really no such thing as a self-made man. I've talked in other times about self-reliance on this channel, and we talked about how really self-reliance is somewhat of a misnomer because you're never really truly self-reliant. The whole idea behind self-reliance is that you are, have as much reliance on yourself as possible so that then you can help other people. You see, it, it does matter. It does... It, it, you should try to be as self-efficient as possible, but actual self-reliance, actual self-made people, they don't exist. Business itself, the pure, purest definition of business is the ability for you to be able to trade your ideas, trade your skills, trade anything that you can bring to the table for something else from someone else. In most cases, it's money. In most cases, we trade money initially for what we're looking to provide for other people and vice versa. And that is what business is. Business is relationships. Business is connections. So who you're connected with matters most. The main thing that he starts focusing on early in the early episodes is starting to go out there and connect with people finding people who are then connected to the rest of the city because he's in a city he's never been to he's in a city that he hasn't he hasn't been involved in and it's kind of an up and coming city it's it's one that had kind of peaked during the industrial age in Pen this is, uh, in Pennsylvania and it had peaked and dropped down and it was just now kind of building itself back up. And so he needed to get in on the inside. He needed to find people who were familiar with the city with other people that can, could, can connect him with other people. And he did. That's the amazing thing. Just the first few episodes, you'll see that he was able to do that. He was able to bounce from one person to the next to the next. It's not about using people. It's about understanding the value that every person brings. And it's really in the connections that they have and their, his ability to then grow a team off of those connections. Tied together with trust, like we talked about yesterday, but the people are what matter most. It's not as much the ideas. The ideas will come with the right people. It's not as much even the execution. The execution comes with the right people. He learned how to go about doing what he wanted to do 
as after he had already committed to doing it. I'm not going to ruin any of it if you haven't seen it, but you can see it all come about. And what he's basically doing is showing the business cycle that anyone that owns and runs a business, they're showing it from beginning to end in a very short window, in a 90-day window. It, it's kind of on fast forward in, in comparison to what most of us end up doing when we go into business for ourselves. So it's worth seeing undercover billionaire. That's lesson number two. Tomorrow we're going to go over lesson number three. How many are we going to go over? I don't know. <laughs> so far, I I've, I've, I've definitely have one for tomorrow. We're going to go over it then. Uh, in the meantime, if you are looking to be able to take your business further, connect with the right people, find the people who can lead you in the right direction and, and kind of help you to well, really, I mean, one of the toughest things as a business owner is being able to organize your thoughts and being able to set a step-by-step -step plan, whether you've got a deadline or not. Like this guy had a 90-day deadline to be able to achieve a, a hundred million dollar, uh, excuse me, a hundred million dollars, a million dollar company. That's what he was after. And he had 90 days to be able to do it. Now, whether you have a deadline or not, you should have a plan set up. And if you don't, or if you need help in executing that plan, I suggest going out and finding yourself somebody that has a background in that, someone who has a direction, who, who has a concept of how to take a business from step one to step two to step three, all the way to the end, and can help you out with that, that has experience. I happen to be one of those people, so it's very self-serving for me to say this, but go to brianjpombo.com if you'd like to find out more about me and see if I'd be somebody that would help be able to help you in your business. I tend to work best with people who are already have successful businesses up and running. Most of the businesses I work with are seven figures and up. I don't hold it to that, but in general, those are the ones that I tend to work with the most because they tend to have everything already running and going in the right direction. Now, if you are in the self-reliance field, and you are interested in taking part and being able to uh, hopefully get some value out of my advice or of my help, then go to dreambizchat.com. Dreambizchat.com, the link is in the description. Go and check that out, especially if you're a decision maker at your company in the self-reliance field, go to dreambizchat.com. Hey, the rest of you, have a great night. We're gonna be back here tomorrow. You have a good one. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.